Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we're doing a video kind of different. So, ages ago, back during the summer, I picked up this. This was from b and it was £2, and it was in the shape of a fish. And I said to myself, what would I do with a plate that was shaped like a fish? Many of you had ideas to put it in my bathroom. It's obviously a good idea, a fish in the bath. But I thought I would use it as a display piece, Then, but then the question was, what do I do with the fish? Do I hang it on the wall? Do I just stand it on the side? Now, what I thought I would do is that I would put seashells on it to go with the sea, and that I would arrange seashells on the, on the side of my window, which sounded a cool idea. So recently, you would have seen all the videos of where I went on holiday to Yarmouth. They should have all gone up before you see this video. You'll have seen me at the beach, where I stayed, and then I picked up these. These were two ninety nine for a great big case of seashells. And the idea is I'm going to show you what's in here, and then we're going to put them on the plate. And then that is going to be my piece that's on my bedroom window. Because at the minute, my house kind of has like a, I'm going to say a seaside theme. I have my seaside cushions over there that has um, beach huts on. I have caravan um, can um, caravan calendars. So this made perfect sense to me. So we're going to open these up, and then we're going to take a look and see what kind of seashells I got because they're all different kinds from what I can tell: shapes, sizes, colours. Um, so it should be a Pretty good mix. Obviously, got to be careful because they're only seashells, so they'd be awfully brittle. Um, and they're only being held in this um, little wooden thing. So, we're going to take them out and we're going to take a look at them. So, do you collect seashells when you go um, to the beach? Comment down below. Did you collect seashells as a child? Do you still collect them now? Would be the obvious question. Mm. And here we go. So here we have the seashells. Ooh. We had them out. Obviously, we might have the occasional bit of sand, <laughs> hence being from the sea. Okay, so let's take a look at this first one. The first one we have is this really cool purple one. And as you can see, it's really, really soft. And then we have the other half, which unfortunately has broken but you can imagine that originally these two would have been together but unfortunately we've got a bit of breakage um but as they're seashells that's what's to be expected <laughs> fine <laughs> so you go like that so we'll put them on there okay what else have we got next oh look at this one wow now that is a deterrent from being eaten isn't it like Obviously, there's a little creature that lives in there. I can't remember what their name is. I think it's a sea urchin. Um, and they live in there. And these spikes are deterrents to anyone trying to capture them. And I would say so they're not quite sharp, but I love the black. It's what drew me to this basket. There was quite a few of them that I could have chosen. Um, but this one especially had, like, the purple, the black. Okay, what else do we have? We also have some little ones, a little tiny one here. Again, really interesting colours. Got another small one, an even tinier one, an even tinier one. Look at that. But I love seashells and hearing the sea. Ooh. <laughs> Joking. Need a bigger one than that to hear the sea. Um. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, let's have a look at this one. Now this one's quite cute. Look at this. All this ribbing effect. Um, and then on the inside. That ribbing effect, as I call it, ribbing. Um, very cool colours, I must say. Obviously it's got a little chip in it. But that's to be expected. Seashells, um, as you can see, the light goes right the way through them. They are not... <laughs> technically built for really rough um, weather. I might get another um, set of seashells the next time I go to the beach and maybe get a set every time I go and start collecting seashells. 
This is a really cool collection to have. And you can find cool and unique ways to display them. You could put them in um, uh, what you call a box frame and have them um, put on with um, double sided tape um, and you could display them. Okay, let's have another one of these ones. Got another one of these, um, what I call oyster shells, I think, or seashells. I'm not very sure, but like I said, you can see straight through them. They are not that thick, and they do take a battering in the sea. They even smell like the sea, to be honest, which is kind of cool. The fact that it smells like the sea still, even though it's probably been in a in a shop for absolutely ages. Some of it is covered in sand. Okay, next one. This one's kind of cool. I love the colours of this one. It actually looks like a mini ice cream. The top bit and the colours. It reminds me of an ice cream cone. Um, and then inside, look at that colour. Vibrant orange colour there. And then you've got just this outer blackness in the trim. It really reminds me of a like, 99 ice cream cone. <laughs> Okay, um, let's have another look at one of these. Obviously, we've got another one of these. You do get quite a lot of these shapes um, in the pack. Like I said, there were loads of baskets I could have chosen from. There were at least three or four stores that had these. Um, and I chose this one because it's one I generally go to um, when I buy my stuff on holiday. It's a really cool store. Okay, next we have this one. Again, really cool shape, really cool colour, and then you've got that like peach colour on the inside. And again, they are so soft, you wouldn't believe. They look really like sharp and that, but some of these are just soft, obviously because of the sea. That's cool. It's filling up my plate. <laughs> okay, next one another one of these ones and this is nearly a pure white one apart from the bottom and then the inside again it is super soft super soft and would you believe animals actually live in these you wouldn't believe it would you okay Ooh. we have this it's very fragile he's breaking it was a tiny little starfish but uh, he's breaking, very, very brittle. I think I might just have to put him in the bin. But he's very brittle. Little starfish. Okay. We've got another one of these ones. Again, one and a half shells. I think it was the other half to that one. Um, very cool. Next. Some more of the half shells. I've got quite a few of these, so I'll show you maybe a couple at once. Got these ones. And then the inside, these two kind of look like they went together, judging by the colour. But um, very cool. What else we got here? And we've got some smaller ones got some smaller ones here of these ones again the colors the shapes the patterns they create are all unique to each of the seashells then we have this one which unfortunately has broken but then again I did travel quite a way to bring them so do be careful um, you might find broken ones Obviously, they are very, very shatterable um, and shatter kind of thing. They are very, very flimsy. Um, when it comes to seashells, they're not built <laughs> for carrying on a bus home. Obviously, you're going to get a tiny bit of breakage here and there. And so I'm going to need to be careful handling these. And you've got some more of these ones. Again, you get quite a few of these ones in it, I must admit. I might have picked maybe the wrong one, but like I said, I can go back and, and get some more. And you got this one again. I've got a breakage, so I might have to throw the broken ones away just for safety. Um, 
but for now we'll put them on the plate. We have this one, which has definitely, definitely had a better day. All its thing is starting to flake, but I think they're really cool. Look at that. Look at the inside of that where it used to live. Very cool. And then we've got the three biggest ones. And the three biggest ones is this one, which again reminds me of an ice cream cone. Obviously it goes this way. Um, and the little guy would live in the bottom, uh, would live out of the little hole. But if you look in there and feel how soft it is, it is so smooth. And the colours, I mean, look at that. It looks like a floor in your bathroom or in your kitchen or something. But that, very cool one. Then you have this one, which reminds me of my childhood ones, where if you sit like this, really quietly. They say you can hear the sea and I don't know if I can with the washing machine but look at that. How cool is that? And then the last one looks like this. This is the last one. It's quite out of shape but look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I love sweet shells. I love the smell. You can definitely smell the sea um, and the look and the texture of them with them being so soft. Um, and that's everything I've got. So that's my little basket. And then the idea was to have them like this. If I just put the camera down slightly. To have them like this in obviously rearranged properly but to have them like this on my little fish plate and then display them in my bedroom on the windowsill with all my little seashells so cute i actually wish i bought more than one plate now but i thought this was a really cool unique idea of how to use the fish plate and to show off my seashells and have them on the side of my window in my bedroom if you like this give us a big thumbs up these were 2 99 from my local shop um on the seaside at great yarmouth you could probably find shells like this actually on the beach if you looked hard enough but you can get little baskets like this at my local um seaside place for 2 99 and i think they're really cool this isn't sponsored or affiliated by either b and for the plate or for the seashell place i just thought i would bring you a little artistic flair on my channel because i'd said about the fish plate before but i'd never actually got round to getting the seashells because i bought the plate in the summer and i didn't go on holiday until september so here we have my finished fish plate i'll link some pictures on instagram if you want to see more from me, remember like and subscribe. I'm newly monetized, so supporting my channel, if you'd like, PayPal is in the description. Help me buy more seashells and more content. Or you can super chat me next time I go live and support the channel, which hopefully won't be too long. Um, I'm just waiting for the right time to go live with work. So big thumbs up, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Do you collect seashells? Do you think my seashell plate looks pretty cool? If you do... Would you have it in your house? Would you collect seashells? Let me know and I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.